What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Guns, coming at you with a new video. For the last couple of weeks, I've been designing an application called Cyrus. Um, Cyrus is basically an application to replace the desktop that you're using on Windows. Um, in this, I'm going to include an application called Jarvis because this application is really, truly amazing. And somebody had created it in uh, VB, which is Visual Basics, the same program I'm using to create mine. Um, He's a good person, good designer, and I hope you like that when I, you know, send a link out for downloading this. So let's install um, Cyrus right now. Now, right now, we're at the loading screen, and um, this is pretty decent. Um, the animation is pretty cool, ain't it? So let's just wait for this to load up and I'll get started. Right now you're at your registration screen and basically the registration screen is where you put your name and password in to register it. In this case, I'm going to put mine in. Okay. Now I didn't put the bottom where it says retype password down here. I put it there like that so you can see on the right side right here it shows password does not match. This is so it will let you know you're not putting in the right password. So let's register it. Um, user creator, user created successfully. Application will now restart, so we're going to restart it. Now we could uh, log in. Actually, our name and password. Now, what I did was I put the S lowercase so you could see something. So when I log in, login failed. So that's uh, a little glitch right there. So let's log in. Right now you have welcome screen. I have not done much with it. It will just close itself out because I'm not really have the time really to work on that. So I'm going to start off with the built-in web browser that I've designed. So let's open up Netflix using it web browser. Now so far I have close and bookmarks for tabs. Um, the bookmarks actually works. It's another one I gotta fix. But anyway, I can see see I'll just refresh there, go to rock. Rocks, Rockstar, J-N-E-S dot C-O-M, Rockstar Games. There's a couple of bugs still in it. You'll get sometimes error messages inside the browser. So, all right. Start off with the left side here. The I right here will open up Jarvis if you install it on your computer. So if I click on it. Good afternoon, Jarvis. Good afternoon, Jarvis. Hi Jarvis. Yes sir. How are you today? I'm doing well sir. How are you and Rosario? Fine, thank you. Jarvis, what's the weather look like? Jarvis? How may I help? What's the weather look like? I'm doing well sir. How are you and Rosario? The weather in Trenton is light rain at 68 degrees. There is a humidity of 94 and a wind speed of 6 miles per hour. Let's watch a movie. Yes, sir. Normally, when you say that, it should open up the web browser, Google Chrome, but for some reason, it just... Let's try it again. Let's watch a movie. Yes, sir. See, it just... It don't want to Right show away, it, so. sir. Goodbye, uh, Jarvis. Goodbye, Jarvis. Now, Jarvis closed. Um, even Jarvis has some bugs in it and still need to be worked out. It's really voice-sensitive, so sometimes... You don't even have to say anything. It'll just say something. And it's, it's really, really funny. Um, right here, the next we have, if you click on the username, which is I put Guns29, you get your user ID. And this is a one-time view until you restart the application. So I put it at the bottom. It says, this is a one-time view. The next time you view this ID, you will not be able to see the name or password until restarting the application. Now, you see it says Guns here see guns here and the password so if I close it open it back up it's gone 
Um, the left side here, we have a side panel. We have Chrome. I haven't really put much application in here, but basically this is going to have basic applications, ones that are already installed on that comes with Windows, such as Notepad, Paint, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So if I click on Chrome, it actually op opens up Chrome. So down here we have apps, movies, games, audio, and friends. Right now, friends and audio don't have nothing because I have not worked on that, but I'm trying to implement a friends, I guess, hub where people could come, relax, chat, you know. Hopefully that will come out. I got Steam, Netflix, and Google Earth. Um, Netflix works, Google don't because I don't have that Google Earth installed. Um, Steam works. Obviously it's supposed to show Steam and I don't want to show it. So anyway, let's continue. People are just text me off of Steam. <laughs> um, we have a shutdown button, so if you click on that, you get log off, restart, shutdown, or cancel. Let's show you one more time. Um, the right side, we have a settings button. I'll get to that in a second. But at the top here, you have time. So if you click on it, time and data settings. Next, I'm going to implement adjustments so you could change actually the time and the date in here manually. So hopefully I'll get that done soon. Um, you have your widgets, wedgets, however they pronounce it. Um, widgets is basically, I don't know what they are. They're kind of like animations, but they allow you to see stuff such as the calendar, change your pictures, um, more like an essentials, I believe they call it. So you could close them if you don't like them. If you want to reopen them, now we go to the settings. And you could reopen them by going to widgets. So clock, photos, calendar. You see how they reopen? Um, wallpaper. Um, basically, you change the wallpapers in the background, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it shows it on the computer here, but it's not really showing the whole image. I'm trying to figure that out. Why is it doing that? Now, I try putting it instead of uh, tiles, I put stretch, but it still don't want to work. Um, so hopefully, I can figure that bug out soon. Um, also, if you click on browse, you can actually pick one from your files. So let's pick out one like this one right here. Okay, see, it changed the background. Uh, more, this is a back color changer, so your background right here would change. So I'm going to put in 85, 85, 85. It should turn gray. See, now if you put 85, 185, 185, it should turn blue. See? Now, if you open it back up, guess what? It's turned back to black. The problem is with that is user settings. It's hard to save multiple forms. I don't know how to do that. I know how to do it on single forms, but multi forms, it's very, very difficult and tricky. I hope um, if one of you could help me with that, I appreciate it. Um, or you could, what you could do is actually make a tutorial showing me how to do that. I really appreciate it. So. That's basically the settings so far I have. Um, let's see. That's about it with the application. I mean, really your basic things. I hope you guys like this application. Tell me what you think. Um, let me know. All right? Let me shut it down and show you how it looks when you shut down. Shut down. Same thing as started up, but this time shutting down. I don't know why I put that there, the timer, but... All right. Thank you all for watching this video. Let me know what you all think, all right? Peace, y'all.